Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. If you always watch our channel, you may know that the news of the US ban on Chinese telecommunications giant Huawei. I believe that viewers who often follow our channel know that Huawei has released the world's first 5 nanometers 5G chip as early as 2019, which is the Kirin 9000 chip processor. One of the strongest chips in the field, it can be said that its performance is far superior to foreign chip manufacturers. Unfortunately, Due to reasons such as the revision of chip rules in the United States, TSMC was unable to produce chips for Huawei. Unexpectedly, the Kirin chip not only did not become the swan song, but was upgraded again on the basis of the Kirin 9000 chip processor. It can be said that Huawei has successfully made another breakthrough in domestic chip technology and successfully bypassed the US chip ban. To create the strongest chip product in the history of China. So what exactly is this chip product? Who is it contracted for? As we all know, due to the modification of the chip rules in the United States, TSMC is unable to manufacture for Huawei. It is precisely because of this that the inventory of Huawei's Kirin chip products will be completely zero in 2022, because Huawei High Silicon's chip market share is almost zero. This also means that the Kirin chip products have been sold out. Many netizens think that the Kirin chip is really going to become a swan song. Just when everyone thinks so, things completely reversed. Chips have successfully bypassed the US chip ban. According to reliable sources, a configuration diagram of a Huawei mobile phone product has been exposed on the internet. This mobile phone product is Huawei Mate 50 PRO. The chip model of this mobile phone product is particularly interesting because it is a model that no one has seen before. KC10 is the so-called Kirin KC10 chip product. It is reported that this product is an upgraded version of the Kirin 9000 chip processor, and it may also be the Kirin 9010 processor. However, due to different foundry channels, the model name is also different. It is said that the performance of this chip is not only stronger than the Kirin 9000 processor, but also has a running score of 1.3 million. It is precisely because of this that many people have a huge question, that is, how is this product? OEM Hasn't the United States banned TSMC from making it? Indeed, the only semiconductor companies in the world that can manufacture such high-end chip products are TSMC and Samsung. There is a problem of power consumption, so Huawei will not choose Samsung as an OEM, so the only possibility is to find TSMC as an OEM, but the United States has banned TSMC as an OEM, so who is Huawei looking for for this brand new chip product? What about OEM? According to people familiar with the matter, the product should use the third-party foundry qualification and then mass-produce the Kirin chip and then ship it back to Huawei's chip factory. That is to say, Huawei used a third party to bypass the US ban so the chip can be produced. It has to be said that the US chip ban is simply a piece of waste paper. In fact, this is not the first time Huawei has done this. As early as the US banned the authorization of Huawei to use 5G radio frequency chips, 
Huawei produced 5G mobile phone products through third parties. That is to say, mobile phones with Huawei logo on the surface cannot support mobile phones, but using the same Huawei mobile phone of a third party brand can bypass the US ban and use 5G functions. There have been rumors in the market that Huawei does not have 5G chips available. In fact, Huawei the problem of 5G chips has long been solved by relying on third parties, but due to the alternative way of selling through listing, its sales volume is not ideal, but fortunately, once the Kirin KC10 processor comes out, I believe that the poor sales situation in the past is also the same. Will cease to exist. Why do you say that? Because it is sold by third-party listing, many people think that this is a non-brand mobile phone, so everyone dare not buy it. The reason why people buy Huawei mobile phones is that the brand of Huawei has been deeply rooted in the hearts of the people. If there is no Huawei logo, then many users will not have trust, and naturally they will not be able to increase sales. But now it is different, because now Kirin chips are produced by TSMC through a third party. So new mobile phones produced by Huawei can still use Huawei logo, which means it is equivalent to that Huawei has completely bypassed the US chip ban and successfully created Huawei's own real 5G mobile phone. And its chip performance is even higher than Qualcomm's mainstream chips. Sold out. It is obvious that the market competition has become more and more fierce in the past two years, but the more this is the case, the more the advantages of technology can be seen. Expanding R&D investment can help Huawei continuously launch more competitive products and solutions. Facts have also proved that only by continuously strengthening R&D investment can we maintain and improve our own competitiveness, meet customer needs, and win market recognition and trust. Second, expanding R&D investment can improve Huawei's technical barriers and core competitiveness. Huawei has always attached great importance to technological innovation and intellectual property protection and has accumulated a large number of patents and technologies in various fields. Strengthening R&D investment can not only launch more advanced technologies and products, but also further strengthen Huawei's dominant position in the technology field, improve the company's technical barriers and core competitiveness, and lay a solid foundation for future development. Generally speaking, Technology cannot be bought. Only when you master it can you be confident. Technology is the key to determine whether a company can continue to develop. The secret of Huawei's long-term vitality is technology. Huawei communicated to the outside world. What do you think for this? Welcome to leave a message to discuss in the comment area. Please follow me, you can learn about the latest developments in China's technology industry, and be the first to know the inside story of the technology industry. What do you think for this? Welcome to leave a message to discuss in the comment area. Please follow me. You can learn about the latest developments in China's technology industry and be the first to know the inside story of the technology industry.